An amateur astronomer with keen vision uncovered a one-of-a-kind ultra-faint dwarf galaxy on the Andromeda galaxy's outskirts while examining archival data processed by the NSF's Noir Labs Community Science and Data Center. This discovery was made possible by the center and follow-up observations carried out by professional astronomers utilizing the International Gemini Observatory, which is a program of the NSF's Noir Lab. It was found that the dwarf galaxy known as Pegasus 5 contained very few heavier elements. As a result, it is highly likely that this object is a fossil of the very first galaxies. Hello everyone, and welcome to another video. Today we'll be looking at how scientists just announced that they discovered something very weird in the Andromeda galaxy. Yeah, you heard it right. With the assistance of several of Noir Lab's equipment, a rare ultra-faint dwarf galaxy was found on the outskirts of the Andromeda Galaxy. This discovery was made possible by the National Science Foundation. Amateur astronomer Giuseppe Donatello found a mysterious smudge in the data of a DASI Legacy Imaging Surveys image. This led to the discovery of the galaxy, which has been given the name Pegasus 5. The discovery was made as a part of a systemic search for Andromeda dwarfs that was coordinated by David Martinez Delgado of the Instituto de Astrofisica de Andalusia in Spain. The image was captured by the Cerro Tololo Inter-American Observatory by the Dark Energy Camera, which was built by the United States Department of Energy and mounted on the Victor M. Blanco 4-meter telescope, the CTIO. The community pipeline, which is managed by Noir Labs Community Service and Data Center was used to perform the processing of the data, CSDC. In follow-up deeper investigations, researchers using the larger 8.1 meter Gemini North Telescope with the GMO's instrument identified weak stars in Pegasus 5. This confirmed that it is an extremely faint dwarf galaxy on the outskirts of the Andromeda Galaxy. The International Gemini Observatory is split in two, with one half located in Hawaii and the other in Chile. The studies made with Gemini revealed that the galaxy appears to be particularly low in heavy elements compared to other dwarf galaxies of the same type. This indicates that the galaxy is very old and most likely a fossil of one of the first galaxies in the universe. According to Michelle Collins, an astronomer at the University of Surrey in the United Kingdom and the primary author of the study revealing this finding, we have identified an incredibly faint galaxy whose stars formed very early in the history of the universe. This is the first time that an astronomical survey that wasn't especially planned for the mission has been used to find a galaxy around the Andromeda galaxy that is as faint as the one that was found thanks to this discovery. It is believed that the faintest galaxies are fossils of the very first galaxies that ever formed and these galactic relics provide information regarding the genesis of the very first stars. Despite the fact that astronomers anticipate that the universe is filled with dim galaxies like Pegasus 5, they have not yet detected nearly as many of these objects as their theories predict will exist. If there are actually fewer dim galaxies than projected, this would indicate that scientists' understanding of cosmology and dark matter is severely flawed. The search for instances of these weak galaxies is consequently an activity that is not only vital, but also challenging. These dim galaxies are particularly difficult to find since they look like only a few scattered stars concealed inside large panoramas of the sky. This is one of the challenges that must be overcome. Emily Charles, a PhD student at the University of Surrey, was also involved in the study and explained that the problem with extremely faint galaxies is that they have very few of the bright stars that we typically use to identify them and measure their distances. Charles was also one of the researchers who participated in the study. Gemini's 8.1 meter mirror enabled us to locate dim, old stars, which allowed us to both measure the distance to Pegasus 5 and determine that its stellar population is very old. The fact that the scientists discovered a significant number of ancient stars in Pegasus 5 provides strong evidence that the object is almost certainly a fossil of one of the primordial galaxies. When compared to other dim galaxies that orbit Andromeda, Pegasus 5 stands out as being unusually old and metal deficient. This suggests that the galaxy's process of star creation came to an end a very long time ago. Collins came to the conclusion that future research into Pegasus 5's chemical features might yield insights into the earliest stages of star creation in the universe. We hope that this will be the case, said Collins. This tiny fossil galaxy from the early universe could help us understand how galaxies develop and determine whether or not our current understanding of dark matter is accurate. According to Martin Still, who is a Gemini program officer at the National Science Foundation, the public access Gemini North Telescope provides a variety of opportunities for community astronomers. In this particular instance, Gemini provided help to this worldwide team in order to validate the presence of the dwarf galaxy. Physically associated with the Andromeda Galaxy and verified the metal deficient character of its evolved stellar population. 
a greater amount of light will be shown on distant galaxies when new astronomy facilities come online. Pegasus 5 was present during the period in the history of the universe known as reionization, and other objects dating back to this time may soon be detected by NASA's James Webb Space Telescope. Pegasus 5 was a witness to this period. Using the Vera C. Rubin Observatory, which is a program run by the National Science Foundation's NOAA Lab, astronomers also have the chance of finding additional dim galaxies in the future. The legacy study of space and time will be carried out at Rubin Observatory and will be an unprecedented survey of the visible sky that will last for 10 years. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comment section below. Stay tuned, and we'll catch you in the next video.